shades. And the man? We're all in different shades of red. I love this one. Thank you. Really nice. 50 shades of red. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, Malta, Mozambique, Switzerland, and my own country, the United Arab Emirates, come together to show our commitment to prioritizing climate, peace, and security during our respective terms on the UN Security Council. There is no doubt that climate change is the defining challenge of our time. There is no true security in our views without climate security. Since 2008 alone, devastating floods and storms have forced more than 20 million people from their homes each year. The world, and most importantly, the Security Council, cannot and must not look away. As incoming COP28 president, we are joining forces with our colleagues here today to advance on this agenda. Our shared goal is to advance the Council's efforts in delivering responsive, context-specific, and evidence-based approaches to directly tackle the real implications of climate change. We believe this is essential for the maintenance of international peace and security. I now hand over to my colleague, the PR of Malta. Our roles as council members to maintain international peace and security must reflect the realities of today's world. As stressed during our presidency signature event on sea level rise last month, as an island state, we are acutely aware of how ocean-related climate security risks can uproot communities, destroy areas of land, and threaten the existence of entire countries. Enhanced reporting to the Council on how climate change may be impacting particular situations on its agenda is critical to inform the Council's decision and decision making. We commit to keeping these security implications at the forefront of our efforts, alongside our colleagues here today. I now hand over to my colleague from Mozambique. Today's world also increasingly faces natural disasters, droughts, heat waves, and floods as a consequence of climate change. This can wipe out critical infrastructure, affect agriculture, and contribute to the scarcity of resources. These impacts of climate change are some of the key drivers of conflict. Harder farmer tensions, climate-induced conflict over resources, and the displacement of populations. As we take tangible steps to address, mitigate, and adapt to the implications of climate change, it is also important for the Security Council to meet its responsibility to recognize and take appropriate action in response to climate change since it can aggravate existing threats as well as create new threats to international peace and security and threaten efforts to build and sustain peace. I now hand over to my dear colleague from Switzerland. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Last but not least, as we continue to witness a striking increase in the fre frequency and severity of climate change impacts, the Security Council must enhance data collection and analysis on climate, peace, and security. This would not only foster evidence-based approaches and responses to these challenges, but it could also improve early warning capabilities and prevention. It is for these very reasons that we have come together today to announce and launch our joint pledges with the goal to promote greater discussion of climate, peace, and security within the Security Council. And of course, we encourage all Council members to join us. Thank you very much.
as we say, we encourage all council members to join us and we will certainly share with you also the technical conditions, what these um, climate change um, commitments all will mean. And I'm sure that others will join us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I think that we have taken the approach that region-specific contexts always produce better outcomes in the Security Council. So both in the African group, but also in the Arab League, we're certainly raising awareness also in our role as COP28 president following Egypt's COP27 presidency. I think Arab countries have really been at the forefront of highlighting uh, the importance, the existential importance of the climate issue to peace and security. So we'll continue to coordinate in our groups. But of course, this is a, a whole member state endeavor. Uh, and we at attempt to raise it here as we start Water Week at the General Assembly, but also uh, during Security Council discussions as well. Thank you. Thank you. It's part of the 